not a game, it's a rich thing. Hey guys, I'm Hirin and this is Double H. So today we'll be unboxing the Apple Watch Series 6. So I'm not much of a big Apple Watch fan or I don't use Apple products, but my dad does love Apple products. So he did buy the Apple Watch Series 6. And well, let's unbox it. Let's start by getting rid of this shipping package. So this is the retail packaging of the Apple Watch Series 6. It doesn't look much different from the last generation. And well, let's just take a look. Apple's known to make every experience really simple. So let's see that if that extends to this unboxing. A smooth peeling experience. You don't get that from every retail package. So this is it hey i'm not sure how to open this ah. so that looks blue so the watch is blue i guess i'm not sure what color it is i'm going in totally blind it seems the theme is blue so it must be blue and yeah of course can see it the watch is covered in it is covered in blue or some kind of paper here we have some paperwork yep paperwork we'll leave it aside and this is the charging wire the wireless charging and this must be the strap so let's Set this aside for a moment. And this would be the watch strap. So this is the watch strap. It's kind of different from Android experience. Oh, simple. Got it. So I've never unboxed an Apple, well, any Apple stuff. This is a really smooth unboxing. Compliments to Apple. Paperwork. Uh, we need instructions to open this. So just pulling it off. I guess I feel I okay. Oh, so this is a smaller version, and this is the bigger one. So this is for big hands. This is for small hands, and this is common for both. Okay, so this is a strap. Okay, I guess. I don't think I'll be using this one. We have the strap. It kind of looks different from last gen, I guess. Okay. So, this is the Apple Watch Series 6. Doesn't look all that different from last gen. So on the underside of the Apple Watch Series 6, the new thing is it's got a blood oxygen sensor, I guess. Uh, oh, <laughs> I turned it on my mistake. Uh, how do I put this strap on again? Uh, so this is on the bottom, this is on the top end. Not a great experience putting on the strap. Is it a new kind of strap? I'm not sure. Let me get an Apple phone. Hey, so I just got the iPhone. I've got to give credits to Apple for such simplicity. Just keep the phone near your watch and just sets up. Everything about Apple is simple. The unboxing, well, setting up of their devices and no chargers. So just for comparison, this is the Apple Watch Series 4, this is the Apple Watch Series 6, and this is the Galaxy S3 Frontier. So the other difference between the Series 6 and the previous versions are the color differences. In the previous versions, Apple did not give us much of a choice, it's like black and grey, but this time, the steel seal was an option, I guess, and this time, we get a lot of colors. So the Apple Watch Series 6 is available in a lot of colors compared to the older generations like Series 4 and 5. It comes with silver, silver aluminum, gold aluminum, space grey aluminum, blue aluminum, product red aluminum, silver stainless steel, gold stainless steel. So there's a lot of options and you can choose whatever you like. So it's, it's all synced up. Okay, so we're in the Apple Watch Series 6.
So these are all the customizations in the watch app. So we're not gonna take a look at the Apple's application itself. It's pretty much the same thing. We're just gonna take a look at the watch itself. The setup is complete and well, we're in the watch. It's pretty much the same interface as the Apple Watch Series 4. Let's take a look. Since I synced it, it's uh, the same wallpaper. This feels a bit more responsive to me. It's just me, I guess. Let's go to the settings. So that's the difference. The Series 4 doesn't have an always on display. The Series 5 and 6 has an always on display. In case of the Series 6, it has a better always on display. Apple Watch Series 5 uses 200 nits as the always on display during the always on display. And in case of the Series 6, it uses 500 nits as the brightness for the always on display. So that's an upgrade. There isn't much software differences as always with Apple, they just keep everything simple. Here's the difference, a blood oxygen sensor and the heart rate sensor. The Series 6 has both of them, whereas the Series 4 doesn't have blood oxygen sensor. So let's check out that feature. <laughs> still don't get it. I still don't like this. <laughs> okay, that's okay. But it feels really snug when you put it on. I just gotta make it really clear using an actual medical grade blood oxygen tester that that thing like this thing this thing using that is way more accurate than this because it measures the oxygen level on your fingertips that's way more accurate than testing it on your wrist basically you measure on the fingertips you get the accurate measurement not on the wrist keep your watch facing up try not to move resting on your wrist on the table can help so you gotta wait for 15 seconds for this to finish unsuccessful measurement yeah great i gotta do this again it's just keep showing unsuccessful so according to this the strap is either too tight or too loose i guess it's too loose so let's try this again this is the third time damn it this just feels like a gimmick let's want to press it like that this is the fourth time i'm trying this 97 percent great Pro tip, press down your watch onto your wrist if you are not able to take the measurement in the proper way. All the other functions of this watch are almost the same as the Series 4, Series 5, all the other Apple watches. So essentially what's different is a new sensor, a new and better sensor, which can measure the blood oxygen level, a better always on display that's more brighter, a faster charging, and like always, nothing much different. So that's it for this video, guys. I'm Hirin, this is Double H. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.